Oh, hello, and welcome to the Computational Complexity Zoo. Here we hold over 500 species of computational complexities, but since we don't have all day, we'll mainly be discussing our two main attractions, Polynomial Platypus, aka Polynomial Time, and Nondeterministic Narwhal, aka Nondeterministic Polynomial Time, aka Bob. Now these guys have been feuding for quite a while. Now, we know all platypi are narwhals, but it's unclear whether all narwhals are platypi. They might be, but computer scientists and mathematicians have been unable to prove or disprove this yet. Maybe you're confused. Good, let me explain. Here we don't call animals animals, we call them algorithms. An algorithm, simply put, is a bunch of steps you take to solve a problem. Now all algorithms have a footprint. You may remember this from introductory computer science. Here's a hint. Its name is Big O. Big O tells us how an algorithm scales as our inputs increases in a worst case situation, and it comes in this form. N is the size of the input, and the function of N will tell us how the steps of our algorithms increase as N gets bigger and bigger. Now let's look at some algorithms in our polynomial time species. Meet Linear Search. The objective of this algorithm is, given a list and given an item, we want to see if said list contains said item. Now if we have a computer and it does this step by step, the worst case is for the item to be at the very end of the list. That means if I have 10 items, I do 10 steps, 20 items, 20 steps. N items means N steps, therefore a big O is ON. Guess what? N is a polynomial function. Oh, who are you? Oh hi insertion sort. Insertion sort is an easy to implement number list sorting algorithm. It goes through the number list one item at a time and inserts the item into its correct spot in the list. In a worst case scenario, it'll take n number of steps to sort the nth item you are sorting. That's n times n, or n squared. As the data increases, the number of accumulated steps we have to do is n squared, so our big O is O n squared. n squared is also a polynomial function. Wow. There's also a whole bunch of other number sorting algorithms, but let's steer clear of bubble sort. That's right, bubble sort, you heard me. Nobody likes you. You've only ever been a disappointment to your people and family. From one city to the next, he never stops. Destined to find the shortest route, he's a salesman, and he travels. He is the traveling salesman. The traveling salesman problem is a famous problem in computer science that falls under our non-deterministic polynomial time species. Here's the problem. Our salesman wants to travel to a whole bunch of cities very, very quickly. Therefore, he wants to know, given an n amount of cities on a map, does there exist a path connecting every single city shorter or equal to length L? Well, an easy way to do this is to check every possible route the salesman can take. Simple, right? Four cities, we check three routes. Five cities, 12 routes. 30 cities, about 4.42 million, 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 million routes. Yeah, so in other terms, if we had a computer calculating 10 million routes a second, it would take about this many years. For reference, that many years is the age of the universe. Why so long? The number of routes we need to calculate is equal to n minus 1 factorial over 2, meaning the number of steps we have to do increases factorially with our input size. Therefore, our big O is O n factorial. You may have noticed something. n factorial is not a polynomial function. However, theoretically, if we could execute this algorithm non-deterministically, meaning we check all possible routes simultaneously, we can solve this problem in polynomial time. This is why the traveling salesman problem, as well as problems like solving Sudoku, scheduling, integer factorization, and many others are NP. For any of these problems, if we were able to check an indefinite amount of possibilities at once, they'd be executable in polynomial time. Now, the million dollar question is, can problems like the traveling salesman problem in Sudoku be solved using algorithms that scale like the algorithms in our polynomial platypus species? Does P equal NP? Nobody knows, and no one's figured it out yet. But don't worry, not all hope is lost. Enter machine learning and artificial intelligence. A lot of the time, for many of these problems, we can solve them well enough. Sometimes we don't need a perfect answer. Take the traveling salesman problem. Instead of trying to see if a path of a certain length exists, what if our salesman just wants to find a reasonably short path? In that case, there's a number of shortcuts we can take. Take evolutionary algorithms, for example. An evolutionary algorithm is a simple type of artificial intelligence that uses mother nature as a model to solve problems. So if we want to find a short path for a salesman, we just need a few ingredients. 
figure out a chromosomal way to represent all of our solutions, and a way to judge how fit these solutions are, otherwise known as a cost function. Once we have these things, we can generate a random starting population, then kill off the least fit solutions, read the fit ones, throw in a few mutations and crossovers, generate a new population, and then repeat, over and over and over again. Eventually, your salesman should have a reasonably short path in a reasonably short amount of time. Well, I hope you enjoyed that very brief tour of computational complexity theory. Goodbye!